always feel like for me it's important to to enjoy and find love and validation in my own work and and find joy in the creative process and look less to outside validation if you are only in the business or writing um, because you want you want that end result it's it kind of works backwards you know there are some podcasts that you record and you're just like there was so much fun recording this so this podcast with tiffany paulson was basically that it was so fun getting to know what her creative process is like um, she's a screenwriter and executive producer and she's worked with major studios including netflix warner bros universal studios Disney, ABC, Fox, um, and she's worked with amazing talent such as Selena Gomez, um, Oscar winner Hale Berry, and Emma Roberts. This is a great podcast, so just sit down with your families and watch. You're going to have a great time, and I hope you enjoy. Since your new movie about fate starring Emma Roberts just released, um, could you please tell the viewers what was it that urged you to write this screenplay in the first place? Um, you know, what was your creative process like while working on this film throughout? Well, this was a project that the producers and the director actually brought to me. They were really big fans of Holiday. They were really big fans of Emma, who was ultimately, you know, who they had dreamed of would be able to do the movie. And we had a lunch and sat down and, you know, talked about what they wanted to do. It was actually very, very, very loosely based on an old play from the 70s. So mm -hmm. it was um, a Russian play that was set in the 70s that they turned into a big musical. Um, completely different than what we ended up with about fate but the conceit yeah. of the same address and a, and a boy waking up in the girl's bed that was kind of the seed that we had and then they they sent me off and and I instantly saw how that could be turned into a fantastic story um so fun New Year's Eve uh is what you know I love a holiday movie so I kind of went off and did did uh, my own thing with with how I would put that story together. And then we I had a second meeting with the director and he loved it. And I went off and wrote the script and and we were just really, I wrote it with Emma in mind and we were so excited that when the first draft was done, she loved it and she wanted to jump on board. That's um, That sounds like an amazing journey. And um, I guess that's probably what made the movie come out so well. So um, I actually recently read an interview about you when I was doing my research. Um, you mentioned somewhere or you advocated for never giving up on a project you truly believe in. So my question to you is that, um, you know, in a day and age where there's just so much competition, chaos, stress, um, you know, surrounding us, what is it that keeps you and your faith and confidence restored, you know, throughout all the times and even in unpredictable situations, you know, what is maybe a practice you have to keep your confidence, you know, built inside strong? Well, I think it's, there are certainly ups and downs, especially in this, in this industry, because it is so crazy and it is so cyclical and you never know what's coming around or what's going to be in one day. You know, I spent so many years being told that romantic comedy is dead. You know, I was doing mm -hmm. panels on is the romantic comedy dead at the Austin Screenwriting Conference. And, and you know, then we had Netflix put one on and and they they came back around. I I always feel like for me, it's important to, to enjoy and find love and validation in my own work and, and find joy in the creative process. And look less to outside validation if you are only in the business or writing um because you want you want that end result it's it kind of works backwards and i, I think that's a you know it's really hard for artists because we do we love our work we're, we're artists writers and actors and, and musicians because we love the art and and in order to make money from your art and continue to do it you do at some point have to have you know, somebody on the outside want to pay you for your art. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's tricky waters, but I feel like as long as you can find fulfillment and joy and happiness in your creative process, then the outside validation 
will come, not always perhaps when we want it to or as consistently as we want it to, but I think that's that's really important. That's what I try to do. Am I loving what I'm working on? Am I having fun even through the hard parts? Do I look forward to getting to my, for, you know, I'm so lucky to have my beautiful office every day that makes me happy, those, those kind of things. And then hopefully that outside validation will come, but you can't write or do your art for that thing, if that makes sense. No, that's that beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Because, um, you know, I've been grown up, you know, kind of hearing that from my mom that, you know, follow excellence and success will follow you. Don't go, you know, after the success itself. And I think that's a great message for all the aspiring, you know, artists or whatever career you want to go into. Um, and I think that's, that's a really beautiful message. Thank you for sharing that. And um, yeah, I would love to know, Tiffany, because you worked on so many successful projects, Holiday, About Fate, and you know, what sparked your interest in screenwriting in the first place? I'm sure it started at a young age. I'm sure it was a passion, but, you know, why screenwriting? <laughs> What's funny, I wrote my first little play in the third grade. I still have it. So I think very, very early on is not good, um, <laughs> but it was a little Sherlock Holmes play that I cast all my, my friends in. Um, but I really wanted to be an actor. That was my goal. I was I grew up in a really tiny town. There was not even a movie theater or a bowling alley. There was really no, nothing going on in my town. And I and I wanted to get out and go to the city and get to LA and be an actor. And I did that for the first you know few years of my career. I really focused on on acting. And uh, I'm from Washington State, so I got to Seattle, which for me was the big bad city and took acting classes. And, and, you know, I'd like to say I had a lot of tiny parts in big movies and I did that for a while and um, finally got to LA. And then I thought, you know, if, if, if acting doesn't happen for me in the way, the traditional way, I always had intentions that I would write my own projects and direct my own projects. And I just uh, started writing the first, and I got very, very lucky that the first thing I, I wrote was if you're familiar with the Nichols Fellowships, it's a pretty prestigious screenwriting competition put on by the Academy Award sponsors it. And uh, got a lot of really positive feedback and had a lot of people that wanted to meet with me. And you know that really sparked, maybe I should take the writing thing a little more seriously. And on my second yeah. script that I wrote, I was so lucky to win the ABC Disney Writing Fellowship which is yeah. another amazing uh, competition. And they actually pay you to, to be in the program for a year and meet amazing people and continue to write. So from that program, I just thought, it seems like the universe uh, is steering me toward a writing career. And I kind of took off in that direction and, and haven't looked back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's beautiful. And that kind of takes me to the question about you know, what do you describe um, as love? Like, what are the, you know, qualifications of unconditional love where you feel, you know, that will last? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, you are talking to the proverbial single girl. So <laughs> I don't know that I have figured it out. I know what I like try to do and aspire to do. Um, I think it's just, um, I think it's just staying open, right? Like, um, I think it's just, it's just staying open um, yeah. and hopeful. It's kind of like the yeah. same. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess that's, that's something that will work for everyone. Well, I mean, it's, and helpful. being vulnerable, right? I think it's, you know, really when you can just be your, and I'm not like any kind of a therapist or anything, um, as you can tell in my movies, all of my <laughs> girls are like that. But, um, you know, I think it's finding that person that you can be at your very worst. Um, and they still make you feel like it's okay. I think that to me, like that's the dream, right? Like it's it's not worrying about, do I have my like lashes on? And it's like, yeah. are my roots done? And mm -hmm. you know, did I say something that's stupid today or fall down the stairs? It's like, or, you know, was I, was I embarrassed? Cause I didn't, you know, I didn't get that job and I'm, you know, questioning if I'm worthy, like all of those things, I think you can, find that person that you can be your most vulnerable with is probably like your person, right? That makes it okay. Yeah. That's like no, the dream. Yeah. That makes sense. And um, I think what's great about all your movies is that they're very realistic. You know, you're very authentic um, with your characters and screenplay you have to tell. You know, I know I've seen some movies that are, you know, they're good fairy tale, which is great, but they don't really make you, I guess, learn or inspire from them because it's not really relatable. 
that's my favorite, I guess, aspect of your films, to be honest. Um, oh, thank so you. I, I try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Yeah, you're doing a great job. So that's it's definitely more than trying. Um, and I would love, uh, Tiffany, for you to talk a little bit about Emma. You know, you guys have a very long relationship and it's like, it's so great that you found like a team, I guess, you know, with each other, you know, how, how does that make you feel? Oh my gosh. It's, um, well, I'm so lucky because she's truly amazing. It's funny. I tell her and I just, I don't have my new about fate one sheet up yet in my office, but I, I like have her all over. She's on every <laughs> poster in my office. just about. Yeah. So like, you know, I sit every day and work and I'm surrounded by your beautiful face. Um, she's, she's lovely and she's so smart and she brings so much to the table when it comes to, when you actually like roll up your sleeves and you get down to making a movie, she has such good ideas. You know, she's got her own production company now and her producing partner and they're doing, you know, TV shows and pilots and, uh, you know, so many other, her book, her book club, she's, you know, loves, loves, uh, loves to read more than any person that I know. She's mm -hmm. always got an amazing book that she's recommending. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm very fortunate. We, we continue to talk about what our next projects are going to be. Uh, I think our goal is that the next one I'll be directing is really yeah. exciting for both of us. And it's lovely to have Emma support me moving into that area of my, you know, the next, the next level from writing, directing. So it's just, you know, it's great and it's a blessing and it's, it's, you know, I, a lot of Writers, directors continue to work with the same people over and over again, and they, you know, have this amazing body of work. And I hope that I'm fortunate enough, you know, to be making movies with her when, you know, we've got gray hair instead of blonde. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that she has her son, I'm a single mom, so it was kind of like a whole, a whole different level to, you know, that we can relate. And oh my gosh, she's yeah. got the most beautiful baby. So uh, you know, I love her, and I can't wait to make the next movie with her. Yeah, that's um, that's wonderful. And I see, I I think that's your baby boy in the back. Those oh. pictures. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's yeah Jet. That's adorable. He's adorable. Um. So yeah, that's great. Um. You know, I think it's so it's very rare. I think to find, I guess, a friend, especially who you can have a professional relationship with as well as a friendly relationship. So I think you know, the fact that you found you know her, it's probably so amazing for both of you. I feel um. You know, from my personal experience, it's very very rare to have that type of bond yeah very lucky she's amazing yeah and um so I want to ask you Tiffany so when I was preparing for this interview um I saw you mention somewhere that um I think sometimes fate will tap you on the shoulder and if you're looking in the other direction you might not feel it this made me think a lot because I've I guess for the last few years I've really thought a lot about free will and destiny so I want to know that do you believe in destiny and do you think that we have the power to manifest, you know, our dream and deepest desire through free will? So it's kind of like a two-part question. Well, I 100% believe that we have the power to manifest our lives. I, I absolutely yeah. believe in that. I believe in the energy that we're like kind of living in. If you creates the energy that will get us, you know, through the day or the next level or the things that we want to attract into our life. And I, you know, I, I always like, you feel that when you're in Starbucks and you're on your way out, you know, you hold the door for somebody and they're like, thank you so much. Right. Like, it's just yeah. that moment. Like, oh, I, I feel good about that. Now I carry that out on to the sidewalk. And, you know, I love to feed people's meters when they're like, have a minute or two left, you know, on yeah. the parking. <laughs> so like that, that's, I, that it's, that's a tiny little, like simple example, but you know, when you have a moment and it makes you feel good and then you um, you know, go uh, on your, you know, on your day and, and you, you know, pick up something for somebody or you help them from, I just feel like we vibrate on that energy and then somebody's doing something for you. Whereas if like, I get up and I feel like you shit and that, you know, the calls yeah. late and I'm behind, uh, you know, like then now I'm, I'm on that energy of the day. And I think that uh, translates to the larger, you know, where we are in our lives. Like I, you know, you try to be happy, you try to be positive. I think it comes with experience in this business. There are going to be things that so many things more often than not that don't go your way jobs that you don't get movies that fall apart. And if you let it like, you know, define you, then it's, you're going to have a really long, hard road. And, you know, you take your moment and I cry and I feel like crap. And then I'm like, okay, 
next? I'm going to kind of, what can I do to change his energy so that now I don't like live in this negativity? Um, as far as like, you know, fate and destiny, I really do believe that. I believe that there's probably, um, you know, a path for us that's, you know, the universe is like, here is your path. Let me light the way. But yeah. we step off that path, you know, mm -hmm. we turn around, we take, you know, we go backwards, we yeah. back up. Um, and, and it is up to us to find our way. But I do think that if you're really paying attention, you know, the universe will like put those spots, like spotlights down and, you know, here's your path, follow it. And I think that, you know, that's what happened with me with, with writing, with, you know, acting, I was getting little, little tiny, you know, bits and pieces of, of reinforcement mm -hmm. and little jobs here and there. But as soon as I wrote that script, it was like, bam, now you will yeah. win an award. Bam, now you will have a fellowship. And I was actually in Chicago at the time of my second script and my life was falling apart. Like it was falling apart. And I, I threw this script in the mail with 24 hours before the deadline and I ended up winning it and it changed my oh life. My and it brought me wow. back to LA. And, you know, I'm sitting here talking to you with a writing career because of that, like when the universe went like, you know, this is what you need to do. <laughs> You're, you shouldn't be here. So yeah, that's a long rambling answer to fate no, and it's destiny. Great. I think, um, I, I'm sure you've read the book, The Secret. Of course. And, yeah. yeah. I think we all have. And that's kind of, you know, what you're talking about. And, um, I think we all have our ups and downs, but really to believe and have that faith in yourself so the universe really protects you and definitely guides you, I feel. Um, you know, I've, I've seen that in my personal experience as well. And it's so great that you're being so like honest, you know, while giving these answers. I know there's some people who kind of just like shy away from, you know, talking about, you know, their failures or their, you know, dark sides. And I think it's great that you, you know, you've opened up about that. It really makes the other person feel so, I guess, confident and, you know, uh, motivated. So thank you for, for that. And just on a side note great <laughs> and um uh so i do want to know uh tiffany you know again like you said this industry is chaotic there's so much going on um you know what is it that keeps you i guess relaxed like your go-to hobbies i guess that's what i want to ask oh my gosh i need more hobbies um well, I'm a mom, so that will like snap you right back to reality and can, you know, redirect your, your focus. <laughs> that takes a lot of time. Um, but you know, I do, I do a little bit of yoga. Like I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, what is it? A yogini, a yoga. Yeah. Yogini. Yeah. Yeah. I do yoga yogini, yeah. um, when I can. Um, and I, I'm fortunate enough to live in the Hills. So I will just, get out and put my earbuds in and just, you know, hike. That's kind of those, that's kind of it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a very big proponent of the massage. Like that is the mm -hmm. one when I just need to like, you can't take your phone, you can't take your computer. I spend all day sitting in a chair with like my shoulders, like clenched and, you know, so I massage is my go-to. I will give massages as presents. Here's your like gift certificate yeah. <laughs> any chance that I get. Yeah. That's like, Massage and yoga are probably my two favorite things. Yeah, same. I think, um, you know, ever since I started, you know, meditation and yoga, I feel like that's like probably one of the best ways to really relieve your stress. Um, you know, it definitely helps. I would you love to meditate. I, I've never yeah. been good at it. I know it's so good for you. I can have never gotten that piece where I can shut yeah. off my brain. I know it was like, for me, you know, for me, meditation, it was like, oh, you know, I can't do it. Or I felt that, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to like kind of I guess, you know, leave out on, you know, what my desires or dreams are, but it really helps you. Um, it definitely does. I've, I've seen that from my personal experience and like my friends, they all love to, you know, meditate. It's like a really, really great practice. That's great. I, yeah, I need to try again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I was, um, I, I have been recently talking with the David Lynch Foundation, you know, David Lynch practices TM and that's like, that's what I practice. It's so, it's like a really, really powerful Trust me. How long have you been doing it? Um, I got initiated in 2015. So it's been like seven years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. I know. Yeah. I, I recently did a podcast with David Lynch and oh my God. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was um, you know, he's, it's great. You know, I feel that the creativity in this industry is so much and um, anything that can help to just enhance it is, is great. So I'm going to come. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be great. I feel really good. <laughs> Um, so, um, coming to my last questions, um, you know, what is it that you want 
I guess, the audience to take away from About Fate? Like as a screenwriter, as like, you know, this visionary for this project, you know, what do you want the audience to take away from this movie that's really going to help them and inspire them in life? Oh, gosh. Well, you know, I think it's probably not to sound like a broken record, but I just think that it's it's to remain hopeful and open and, you know, to try to not talk ourselves out of things. Um, I'm, you know, it's always the head and the heart. And I'm always one to follow your heart, which has probably gotten me in, in more trouble than not. But, you know, it's, it is, it's a girl who's trying to talk herself out of something, even though the most perfect thing is right in front of her. And then the universe yeah. still says, no, no, we're not going to let you walk away from it. So I just think it's like, follow your heart. I mean, that's so simple and like dorky, but it really yeah. is, is the truth. And they both, that's what the movie is about. They both ultimately end up doing that. And it's, um, you know, and they're rewarded. Yeah, I think that's um, that's a great message. And um, thank you so much, Tiffany, for for taking out your time for this interview. It means so much to me. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of yours and really, really appreciate it. 